Hello everyone, welcome back to our videos and this is the next video in the series of most important questions for class 10 CBSC boards. We have covered a few questions already and if you have not watched them, please make sure you watch those questions as well. So let us get into the question without any more delay. Well, here is a question from carbon and its compounds. It's a very popular one marker question, but then this could be asked in different ways. First, let us read this question and then I'll also tell you what are the ways this question can be asked in. With the help of one example, explain the process of hydrogenation. Mention the essential conditions for the reaction and state the change in physical property with the formation of the product. So this is like a wholesome question. It's a complete question. But then this question could be asked in pathwise manner also. Just like they may ask you to define hydrogenation and give one example as one marker or they may also ask you to define hydrogenation and mention essential conditions alone or they may ask you to define hydrogenation and state the physical property that is changing along with the hydrogenation. So this question could come in partwise manner or could come in a wholesome way as you already uh, as you already show it on the screen. So now let's understand in detail about hydrogenation so that you'll be able to answer any kind of question asked around this subtopic. So what is hydrogenation? First of all, do remember that hydrogenation is an addition reaction. In carbon compounds, you talk about different types of chemical reactions, isn't it? You talk about addition, substitution, oxidation, combustion. So addition type of reaction is hydrogenation. And as we all know, addition reactions are the characteristic reactions of unsaturated hydrocarbons. Unsaturated hydrocarbon that could be either double bonded or triple bonded. The necessity is to have an unsaturated compound so that the double bond or triple bond breaks down and such that hydrogen gets added. So in total, the process of adding hydrogen to unsaturated compounds is called as hydrogenation. This is a proper definition and well suitable for the one mark question. And now example of hydrogenation. Hydrogenation of ethene can be done but then hydrogenation one more common example that we usually use in the textbook in the syllabus is hydrogenation of oils so you can choose to write any example because they did not specifically ask you isn't it so here i'm taking ethene's example wherein you have a carbon carbon double bond along with four hydrogens this way and you are adding hydrogen and because you're adding hydrogen to an unsaturated compound the double bond breaks down as a result of which you will have this structure formed you will have a single bond of carbon carbon and moreover there are two hydrogens which are freshly added so now if you observe the double bond is appeared and hydrogenation caused saturation so this is a random example that you can take but then as i told you there is one more example that is most prominent about hydrogenation i'll also explain you that example you can use that as yeah, as an independent question in the sense they may ask you that example as an independent question. So the question could be like this. What is hydrogenation of oils and what are the essential conditions and what is the change in the physical property that is brought through hydrogenation of oils? So the way we have hydrogenated ethene in the previous page like this, the double bonded carbon atom, we can also hydrogenate the vegetable oils because these vegetable oils are usually unsaturated. So one more example of hydrogenation is and saturation of vegetable oils, which happens in presence of hydrogen. And now it leads to formation of saturated fats. It gives you saturated fats. And this saturated fat, one example is vanaspati, other one you can write it as ghee, etc. Now you just observe this unsaturated oils and the vegetable fats that we are comparing now. Out of these two, which is lighter, which would be lighter, you can use your logics to answer this question because in the reactant of this reaction oils are unsaturated they are being added with hydrogen 
then they are giving you saturated molecule so because saturated molecule is formed because you added hydrogen they are obviously heavy by nature isn't it i hope you are able to follow these are heavy that means saturated molecules are heavy the products of hydrogenation are heavy even here you can observe the product of hydrogenation of ethene was this right c2h6 c2h4 and c2h6 you observe which has heavy mass so ultimately unsaturated oils are lighter and saturated oils are heavy so what happens unsaturated oils because they are lighter they are usually liquids at room temperature and then saturated oils because they are heavier or denser and they exist in soft solids or dense solid format in, in at room temperature so now if i go back to the previous question that we were talking about and get the answer completed i would have to talk about the essential conditions so take a look at this the essential conditions will be one the process of hydrogenation can happen only in case of unsaturated compounds and the second one it happens in presence of a so now you talk about either hydrogenation of ethene or as we discussed in the next page you talk about hydrogenation of oils that happens in a catalyst and the catalyst which is commonly used in hydrogenation is nickel otherwise you can also use palladium anything out of these two would be fine so the two essential conditions one is usage of unsaturated compound second one is usage of catalyst and what is the change in physical state or physical property that is brought out during hydrogenation of vegetable oils liquid unsaturated fatty acid is converted into solid saturated fatty acid and you know the reason as well behind it always be clear about your concepts so that you don't need to by heart the answers and it gets easy on your part to reflect the answers in your examination paper done so this is all about hydrogenation as a one marker hydrogenation can be defined as the process of adding hydrogen to unsaturated compounds is called hydrogenation and remember these two examples if they are not specifying in the question you can choose to write any but then if they are specifically asking you have to write the same example that they have asked for i hope you are able to follow and understand these all questions in case you have any question that is troubling you that you find most important that you want all other students also to focus on make sure you let me know those questions and your doubts also in the comment section so if you are liking these videos make sure you hit that like button and most importantly share it with those friends of you who are in need of this kind of videos so until then bye bye everyone